yes. I think what we can do here is the nature of this particular assignment or activity is to the client here says that they would like eight townhomes lined up in a row. So here what we'll do is we'll clean up this we'll clean it up and then we'll actually uh do uh a mirror command mirror command and then we'll actually do the array command. Here we go. Alright. Alright, so the first thing we'll do is uh what's happening here? Okay, so we have all that, that, that. Okay, so this is what a typical unit looks like. Okay, so what we need to do is take <coughs> come here and um, delete the street. Get rid of the name of the street. Alright, we're going to need all of them have the same footprint. So what we can do, we can do a series of things. First, let's do the array. This particular assignment will do array. So we'll move this over here and let's check the distance. The distance here is from there to there is 18 feet 7 inches. Okay, so we'll type A R for array and hit enter. And then we get the array dialog box. Now, what we can do is um, we're going to have eight townhouses. So going up and down here, which is your row, we'll have one because we only have one row. And then we'll have these are these here are side by side stacks, which are your columns. And here we say we'll say eight um, um, row offset zero column offset, which is here, the column offset, which is going to be um, th this distance from here to here. So I can easily come here and say pick column offset. So I can say from that distance to that distance. Alright, so it tells me 18 feet 7, which is good. And then now I would like to, I have to select the object. I select the object, which is everything. Okay, and then I can say preview it. Wow, so we have row houses here. Good. And say accept that. Good. All right. So here's the deal. So now we have row houses. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so 